Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and today we're going to take a look at the beta version of the Luminar plugin working as a smart object filter inside of Adobe Photoshop. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is right click and convert this to be a smart object. Now, all filters are non destructive. Let's start by taking advantage of a filter here in Photoshop, and we'll use Liquify. This is one of the built-in filters in Photoshop, and you see it quickly finds things within the image itself. For example, let's go ahead and turn up the corners of his mouth here for a slight smile, and just pull the nose up ever so slightly. But I'm not happy with the eyes, the teeth, and a few other issues, plus we've got some scratches and blemishes here. So once I've decided that Liquify has been modified correctly, I'll just click OK, and the smart object applies. Now I can invoke another filter, and I'm going to take advantage here of Skylum Software and Luminar 4. This is a beta version here, and it's the latest version. The image is now handed off to Luminar. Let's go into the portrait group here and start with AI Skin Enhancer. I'll check the box, and with one quick analysis, it easily took out all of the blemishes on the skin, the scratches, and everything that was really getting in the way of the image. If I need to or want to paint them back, I could just use the edit mask and the brush here to erase them away. But that's much faster than having to go through all of them and clicking individually. Now let's put a little light on the face and you see it easily targets the face for a quick balance of the exposure. We can whiten the eyes and enhance those to bring them out. And just a quick little clean up there. Now I'm gonna whiten the teeth and you see it's able to quickly target the teeth thanks to AI. No need for a selection. And we can darken the lips just slightly, put a little contour there on the face, and open up the eyes since he's outdoors. There we go. Let's just toggle that before and after. You see it's a nice change. While I'm at it, I'll jump on over to the essentials here and just take advantage of Accent AI to get a good even exposure and a little bit of AI structure. This can add to the background to really pop it or subtract it, but you see that the skin is essentially left untouched. I'll put a little extra detail in there. I like that. And let's just drop on a vignette. We'll choose our subject and dial that in with a gentle feather here. There we go. And we can see the before and after. A nice quick improvement. When satisfied, I'll click Apply, and it's automatically handed back off to Photoshop. You'll notice that it is applied to the image as a smart filter. So in the future, if I ever need to, I could just double click on these to re-invoke the edit. But you see Luminar 4 working very smoothly hand in hand with Photoshop's Liquify, giving you a perfect combination of photo retouching.